Hello, welcome. I will put the audio in off, but well, basically what I was saying is that today I had a special guest. Uh, she is my niece Elisa. She is the daughter of one of my nieces and I love her so much. He loves to play with Barbies and he asked me to make an outfit for her Barbie, okay, for this coming season. So I didn't doubt it because I wanted to make it for her so she can play it. If you want, later we can make more outfits for Barbie, okay? If you let me, please let me know here in the comments if you want to. But well, here I had a conversation with Elisa. She was uh, saying what she loves about playing with Barbies and why she asked me to make a poncho and a beanie for her. But well, Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and please stay tuned for all the easy steps. Uh, I will give you the material list and then the step by step. Thank you so much and let's start. Well, for this a Barbie outfit, for this poncho and beanie, we will use all the material that we have left from previous videos, approximately 50 uh, grams each material. I will use this material that it's number three, it's fine. And I will use the hook of number 2.5 millimeters. We will start making a magic ring. Then we will go up with three chains. And then inside this magic ring, we are going to make two double crochet more. So here we have two. And this will be the third. The first chains that we made will count as one double crochet. Then three chains. And again inside three double crochet. And like this is how we are going to continue. At the end we must have four segments like this one inside with three chains between. And like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. Okay, and like this here we have the four segments together. At the end we are going to slip one to close and now we are going to cut. Later we will hide these threads with the embroidery needle. Don't worry. Now we are going to close the magic ring that we have in the back. And then here we are going to make a knot and hide it with the embroidery needle. I will show you. Well, look, I will show you how we are going to make a knot with the embroidery needle. So, first we will insert the needle right where we finish. We are going to pass through the thread through the eye of the embroidery needle like this. And we are going to pass it through and we are going to complete the loop passing it through again and then like this we will have the knot then we will keep it there inside and we are going to bring them through and hide it now we are ready to cut and also we are going to burn the tips a little bit well then we are going to hide this embroidery sorry this thread with the hook or also you can use your embroidery needle or also as we crochet the next row we can hide this thread so we can crochet over it okay i will change color i will use this white i'm very excited to make this break with my uh, knees because i i dream also about when i was little to dress my barbies too so now finally i'm doing it <laughs> Okay, so we are going to repeat. We are going to make the segments of three double crochet, then three chains, and here we are going to keep with the corners. So as the crannies goes, also we are going to make the corners double. So in the same space, two segments together, then one, two, two chains and then we will go to the next space and again we are going to make two segments together in the same space and between segments we are going to make one two and three chains and again 
the next segment and like this the whole row at the end we will have two four six eight segments okay and remember that between corners two chains okay so here we finish to make the corners double okay at the end we will have something like this we will finish with two chains and now we are going to slip one to close now again I will change color so I will cut the thread so we are going to hide it also while we crochet we can hide the thread so we are going to dig this uh, thread right where we are going to start so we are going to pass it through like this this is optional okay I'm making this so I can hide it okay so once we are here we are going to change color I did get ahead we are also going to make one side because with the other side we are going to join okay so we are going to complete just two sides and then with the other we will join and while we join we are going to crochet and complete the next row so I will use this pink I made three crannies square so we are going to fold it and then we are going to miss to make one cranny square to complete with the back so I will show you I will use this pink because remember that we are making this outfit for Barbie so her favorite color is pink so here right where we finish we are going to start with the next row so we will go first with one two three chains and then we are going to complete the first segment of the corner so to double crochet inside then one two three chains and we are going to complete the corner three double crochet right there inside then one two three chains and here we are going to make in this space one single segment you see and in the corners we are going to keep making them double <laughs> okay so three double crochet right here inside I suggest that you make this project for Barbie for a small doll in fine material or light material it's number three or number four so right here we are again in the corner so it means that we are going to make it double but here as I told you while we crochet we are going to join so we are going to make just the half of the first segment we are going to join corner we're co corner sorry we are going to slip one remember to check that all the squares are facing to the right side sorry so here we are okay so one segment of the corner then one chain then we are going to join corner with with corner please check that both are facing to the right side then two chains and then we are going to come back and complete the corner okay, so here three double crochet then two chains we are going to slip one with the other side we are going to make one chain to complete and then we are going to come back to the other square and we are going to complete the stitch then one chain after the segment we are going to slip one to join with the other granny and then we are going to come back and complete the a corner so as you could see while we crochet we are joining using the same stitch so like this uh, the join will perfectly blend or if you find it difficult well you can make all your crannies and at the end you can join them using the embroidery needle so look this is how we are going to fold to make this a uh, poncho so we are going to fold it and now we are going to join one side and then we are going to complete the rest of the stitch I want to show you my mistake so you um, pay attention and this don't happen to you so let me show you so here I was making this corner and I complete the segment but guess what 
In this step, I should have made just a half and then join with the other. Um, so here I'm going to take these three corners you see and join. So well, the, where these three joints and corners gather, right there I'm going to insert the hook and join them too. And then I will continue and complete the stitch. So please pay attention and I hope that you don't make this mistake. Okay, so like this is how we are going to complete and also we are going to use the same technique that we were using to join. Okay? I want to finish this row with you so you can see exactly how it is and also we can review. So remember, while we crochet, we are going to join. I hope that the head of my Barbie perfectly fits. I think it's correct. And then we are going to decorate it. And well, here we finish with two chains and we are going to slip one to close. So now we are going to see if it is perfect for our Barbie. I hope that her head fit. <laughs> okay, let's try on. So yes, it's perfect. So now we are going to decide what to do next. I think that I will make one row of waves and then I can put some fringes, but I will think and I will show you. Okay, so we will make one, two, three, four, five chains and at the end of each segment we are going to insert the hook. Again, five chains and at the end of the next segment five uh, sorry single crochet and like this is how we are going to continue all around making this um uh, 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 this row of waves and then over them we are going to um i think i'm going to move backwards two spaces so we are we will avoid the spoon effect but well sorry what i was saying is that between these fringes is where we are going to put the sorry between these ways is where we are going to put the fringes but well this is up to you and also please ask your daughter or, or uh, the owner of this uh, barbie the design how does they want it to be okay so I ask Elisa and yes, she wants me to put fringes in the bottom, so I will. But well, we are going to continue like this all around. Well, so here I'm finishing the row, five chains, and then I'm going to slip one to close. And then we are going to cut. Remember that it's very important that we cut a long thread because first we have to hide it and once we hide it through the project uh, we are going to cut it's important that the thread that you are going to hide you hide it in the same area in the same color area okay so they can perfectly blend i suggest that you first hide the, th the embroidery needle and then you insert the thread into the eye and then you are ready so like this we are we are going to follow this technique with all the threads and then we are ready to make the fringes okay so see you when you finish to hide all these threads well if you have a cardboard or so or if you don't have a you can use the fingers like me i will use two fingers i will count how many uh, laps i give with the yarn so I can have the same number I will insert all of these threads and with the help of the hook we are going to bring them through okay I will use a hook 
with a bigger number so I can take all the threads with me and then I can bring them through like this like if we were about to make a chain or so and we are going to cut I suggest that you use um, the lighter so you can burn the tips and they can perfectly last like this forever okay so I will repeat this with all the waves also you will decide the distance or so you will decide okay so I will continue uh, putting more fringes in to the waves and then I will show you how it looks well so look how it looks I love the result and well now to complete the look we are going to make a vini okay so I will use the same colors and I will start exactly how I started with uh, but instead of four segments I made four and then I continue with the instructions okay let me show you so as you could see here we have five segments and in the crannies that we made we had four and then we are going to continue in each corner first we are going to make a double and then we are going to make a, we will continue keeping the corners double and the sides single so I will finish with this color with the blue color and when I make this row I will skip some spaces so I will make a row of single crochet so I will skip so I will skip one then I will make one single crochet and as you could see I will jump until the space and then skip one and like this to reduce a little bit so look this is what I was saying but I think I didn't explain clear so we are going to make one inside one outside one inside then we are going to skip one and then one next to it okay and then we are going to slip one to close so now as you could see it reduce even more but well we are going to uh, continue making more rows to seem that this is the elastic right so you will decide uh, how many rows you are going to make and how much stitches you are going to reduce in this case I want uh, that the vini uh, in the bottom be uh, a multi okay so here in the next row I will make three single crochet and then I will skip one and then make again three single crochet and then skip one and like this is how I'm going to continue a reducing I will make two rows more or if you feel that it's enough well you can uh, continue without reducing but like this is how I'm going to continue so see you at the end of these coming rows you are going to decide how many rows you want so look I did continue making more rows and this is the result I love it thank you so much for watching well I hope that you all enjoy making this a video with me I hope that you all invite also your kids to uh, make it with you I think that this is the perfect occasion to make something together but well thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for coming videos take care bye bye see you soon thank you Lisa thank you for sharing this time with me bye